Today we're comparing two lenses, the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter and the Tamron 11 to 18 millimeter. These are both four 5.6 lenses and these are both wide angle. So here's, here's a close-up shot of the Sigma and here's a close-up shot of the Tamron. They're very similar. They have a bubble effect and they are really good for stuff like real estate or wide angle shots. However, there are a few differences that might change your mind on which one to use. Now, first of all, let's talk about the Tamron. The Tamron is in a plastic hard casing. It feels pretty robust. It feels good. You feel like it feels like if you drop it, nothing's going to happen. Now, that being said, there is a big disadvantage to this and I'll put it on the screen right now. Did you hear that? Now, that is the sound of it focusing. That is okay if you're trying to do stuff where you don't need sound like real estate or something where you can cut out the sound completely now another thing i have noticed with this tamron is that it doesn't focus nearly as well as it should but it i've realized that in some stuff where i'm taking pictures of people or just in general it sometimes misses and it's not the best and it's not the best qualities now with the sigma it feels smoother in terms of focusing and here's the sound of it focusing now if you heard that it was much less compared to the Tamron. Now, overall, compared to these two lenses, I'd choose the Sigma. It's much quieter, and for stuff where you need to have focus, you need to maybe do something where there's sound, this will be more reliable, I feel like, compared to the Tamron. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, got some value out of it. If you liked it, follow and like for more. Peace.